Hello, hello, and a great good Tuesday to you all. I am recording a quick training on how you can use your downline viewer. Uh, something important. I've been encouraged to do that by one of our team leaders, Bridget Darko. So thank you, Bridget, for inspiring me to do this quick training. We will begin with the essential oil blend Valor. Putting a drop on your left wrist. If you don't want to do this, you can just speed up through this part of it since this is pre-recorded. So put a drop on your left wrist, take your right wrist, rub it clockwise three times, and keeping your wrists together and shutting your eyes. I invite you to relax. To go inward. Placing your attention, your focus, on the space between your wrists, on the essential oil blend, valor, the energy flow through this essential oil. Feel it expanding through your system, grounding, centering, balancing. Connect now with that which you truly are, supreme, sublime, courage, confidence, strength. When you're ready, you can lift your wrists to your nostrils and imbibe the aroma. Awesome. It's important to do that, I think, throughout the day with all that's going on. Uh, in today's days, it's important to be calm, centered, and grounded. If we're agitated, we simply spread that agitation out into the world and it's reflected back to us. Conversely, if we're calm, relaxed, if we're experiencing inner peace, that expands into the world around us and is reflected back to us. So these tools that we have uh, that Young Living has given us helps us do that. Another one that I use for that regularly throughout the day, even more often than the Valor maybe, is the Calm CBD roll-on. Just throughout the day, I really like to roll it on my wrist and then do that. Sometimes I rub it on my temples, side of the neck, behind my ear, and imbibe that aroma. It's delicious, and if I uh, want to enhance it, I will add the Seedlings Calm oil blend on top of it. That gives it a more powerful aroma and adds the uh, profound calming influence of the products. Oh, I really like that Seedlings Calm and the Calm CBD roll-on. So those are tools that we have that can really help with anxiety, with panic, help you relax, help you chill. And with a lot that's going on today with um, what's in the world, that is helpful. That's the most important thing, to be chill, to be stress-free, to enjoy life. We have one life, enjoy it. One life in this form, enjoy it. We're here to enjoy it. We're here to spread joy, peace, and love to everyone we touch. So, I'm going to share my screen now. Let's see, share screen and we'll share this one and share. So you all could probably see my screen. And what I have up here now is a quick, uh, I did an essential reward order. I had like 450 essential reward points to use. 
the products that I want to highlight that I got, I got the Thieves hand sanitizer, four of them, the large kind, that's the only kind in stock, essential beauty serum, that's really separate from relating to the virus, that the pandemic that's going around. I stocked up a little, even though I had it, I got some more inner defense. The Mighty Pro, it's really for something else, but I got two bottles of oregano, one three pack of Thieves Foaming Hand Soap, that was also in my essential rewards order earlier this month. And these are, is a point order. I got two of the Thieves Spray three packs and that Seedlings Calm essential oil blend. I would have gotten the, anyway. So those are some of the products that can really help both support your immune system, help you relax and chill. I think the hand sanitizer is important. As Young Living distributors, I think it's our obligation to share what we have with people. Now, people are, are panicked. They don't know what to do. They're afraid and we have products that could help them. So what I, the, this training is on how we can use our downline viewer. I'm going to, to minimize, get it to its regular size, how we can use our downline viewer to find people in our downline, to find people who may have gone inactive. So this is a quick training on that. So what you do, is you log into your virtual office. I will, I guess I'll log out. I'll go in from the beginning, just so you can see how to get in there. So you go to youngliving.com, you come up with this page, you click on sign in, and I will sign in quickly. And I always check the keep me signed in box there. So you log in and went right to the dashboard. So I'm in my virtual office already because that's where I was. Okay, so what we're gonna do from here, we go to my organization. If you're not in the virtual office, you would highlight this and then you could click on my organization, but we're already in here. So this is on the left. I click on my organization. And what I really want to do, I don't want to uh, violate people's privacy. So I might attempt to do this without you seeing the people in my team. But from there, you wanna click on reports. Now, if we're looking for people who have gone inactive, in order to be inactive, you have to have not ordered for a year, okay? With the downline viewer, I can see everybody who's been inactive since Young Living got online had a website, which was 2003. Do I wanna go back that far? No, there's a reason for that, uh, more than one reason, but, but a, a big reason is that many people who were around in 2003 aren't around anymore. Also, most likely their contact information has changed. They won't have the same email address. They won't have the same phone number. Even from 10 years ago, often people's contact information has changed. So I like to keep it tight to maybe having been inactive for two years. I would say go back five years at the most. Uh, otherwise, it, it just gets to be, for me anyway, with the, the, the size of my my team untenable. So I'm going to show you how to do a search for people that, it's a search I did recently, for people who have been inactive for the last two years in the state of West Virginia. The reason I did this was to tap people for this rally we're planning in, in West Virginia on April 4th. You can tweak the search to do different things. So you don't have to do it that way. But this will demonstrate how you can use the downline viewer to find inactive people in your team. If you have questions after watching this training twice, contact me. I love people. I love working one-on-one -on -one with anybody in my team. So you're welcome to get hold of me and I'll walk you through this. But first, try it from the training I'm doing.
okay? So what we're gonna do, so we're in the reports area and we're gonna pick, you go to, remember, in order to have been inactive, you have to have not ordered for a year. We're gonna look for people who have been inactive for two years. That means they have to have not ordered for three years, okay? Because you're still active a year after your last order. So in order to do that, so two years ago would be, it's uh, February 20, March 2020, so that would be March 2018. I'll even go back a, a, an extra year, we'll go back three years, so we'll go to March 2017. So I'm gonna look at December 2016 here. So I scroll down here to where we get to December 2016. It grays out for a little bit. Now it's looking at my team in December 2016, and I'm gonna do a report for all accounts. There it is. And now what we see, and I wanna do it this way, I just would prefer not to, so you don't see the people, and I'll make this a little bigger. So I think by doing that, I can make it bigger so you all can see it. Okay. So you see it as all accounts, but there's a customized box. So I'm going to click that. And here, what I want to do is look for people's last order. People who were active in December 2016, we're going to look at February 2017 as their last order. That means that they haven't ordered for three years and they have 17, 18, 19, yeah. And they've been, so they've been inactive for two years, really. So we're gonna take this and we look at last order date, okay. So I click on that and then you have an option in the middle box and we're gonna do before the month of. If I do in the month of, that will very much limit what I find. So we're gonna do before the month of and we will do February, 2017. February, 2017. And then I'm going to add something. Now you can tweak, you can make it for people you've personally enrolled. I encourage you to do that because you already had a relationship with them or you could do your entire team. For the, in the case of this particular search that I did, I was looking for people who were inactive for a couple of years in the state of West Virginia so we could reach out to them and invite them to the rally we were doing. That was the purpose of this. Your purpose may be to reach out to people you personally enrolled who were inactive. So maybe I'll do that search. So I'll do it for me. So then your next criteria could be, personally enrolled by, okay, in my case, well, member ID, then it, it's always when you do personally enrolled by member ID, and then you would put your member number in there. In my case, it's 290271, and I am going to click apply from here. Now, remember, you can add more boxes and hone your search, make your search even tighter. There's a lot of options in here, but I'll just do apply from there, because I think this will give you people who you can reach out to to let them know we have a hand sanitizer. They may be looking for it. It's not on the shelves in stores now. Maybe they're looking for something that can support their immune system now, like thieves, oregano, frankincense. It is our, it's the service work we can do to help people now, but they won't be helped if we don't reach out to them. So this will help you find the people to reach out to. Then we'll click apply. And it did that, and uh, 
Well, that search didn't work for some reason. Last order date before all accounts. Hmm. I wonder why that didn't work. That's interesting. So December 2016, we're gonna, hmm. I'm gonna go back to report, reports. I'll do all accounts, okay. And then I do customize. And again, we're in December 2016. And my first criteria was last order date. Well, maybe there wasn't anybody I personally enrolled that's last, that's weird. Anyway, I won't make it who I personally enrolled. I will do last order date. Oh, I probably did in the month of. So before the month of, and again, we're gonna go February, 2017. There we are. So they were active in December, 2016. Their last order date was before February, 2017. Maybe I will just try it this way. Now, if I do apply still, I would think, so if I add, anyway, I'll do apply from here. So if I do an apply there, now I find 4,179 matching accounts. So in my team, basically, there's 4,000 people who have been inactive for two years. And that's how you can find people in your team that you can reach out to. I could further customize this. I guess I have to reset again. So we have that, and now if I add, this was the search that I did the other day for West Virginia. You could do in the state of, uh, let's see where that is, state. So you do state, and then you do is, and in this case it was West Virginia, WV. And if I do apply from there, now we have 813 matching accounts. So there's, and that's about the number I got the other day. Uh, I sent an email to all those folks letting them know that they could come to this event. When I found my larger team, I would then, and now from here, what you can do, by the way, is download a report. So you click that. And then here, what you probably would want, you'd want the email, you can tweak it to what you want. I don't really care, they're inactive. I don't care about that, I don't care about PV. I don't really care about that. I might want their member ID, their account name, since you'll be reaching out to these folks. You don't really need that, don't need that. But what I do want is their email and their phone so I can reach out to them. And you don't really need their month without ordering. You could leave that in if you want. And then you download that. And then what it does is it will download a CSV file, comma separated value that you can open with Excel. And I'll just stick it in. Uh, I have a folder of March and save it. See, I saved my other one there. Uh, and then I open it with Excel. But that would be a whole other training. But it'll be in there with your with the email and the member number, name, whatever you want it to be in that report. So that is how you do this. And that is how you can find people inactive in your downline viewer. Contact me if this training wasn't clear, if you need any support in walking you through it. I understand it's a little bit, uh, it might be new to you, our downline viewer is powerful. You can use it to find people that are inactive in your team and let them know we are here to help them. We have products that can support them now and you can uh, reactivate them and build your business at the same time. Have a wonderful day. Peace out. Remember to contact me that my number is 201-906-2994. 
and my email is theoilman108 at gmail.com. I am going to stop the share of the screen. And again, peace out. 201-906-2994, theoilman108 at gmail.com. Have a wonderful day.